I'm here with George Cook from Morrisville, Vermont, and UVM Extension, and yes. we are going to be doing what, what? What are we doing? We're making maple sugared nuts. All right. Uh, they're very simple. Something that uh, anyone can make uh, with the right ingredients. Doesn't take a lot of time. And uh, we, we like things that don't take a whole lot of time. Those and are people good love them. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, they're, they're I've like literally been like this the whole time. No, 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 no. Well, they like the chip. You can't eat just one. No, you can't. These are these are the Pringles of the maple world. That's right. That's right. So we 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 got this maple syrup boiling, and we, one thing that you did ahead of time, which. Um, I, I didn't know is you took some margarine and then you spread it around the inside of the, the pot. Why? I took a little margarine and you could use margarine, any oil-based product or okay. uh, vegetable oil or, or dairy product. You go around the inside, that uh, keeps it from foaming up and over. See? For, you know, that, you, that... Can, you can see it's coming up about two-thirds of the height of the pan and it's setting there. Um, you know, we're, we're using a, 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 a grade B syrup uh, that... Uh, that were uh, that I made at home, and you want to make sure you use a darkest syrup that you've got for okay. that real nice flavor. Yeah, because it's it's more pronounced. Absolutely. Yeah. The more we cook the syrup, the more the uh, flavor will come out. And uh, we, we start off, you know, syrup comes off the evaporator at uh, 219, 220 degrees, and we're going to take this up to 245. Wow. And uh, yeah, right now it's like at 230. 2.30. Okay. okay. That's that's wonderful. It'll take probably five or ten minutes for that to uh, work its way up to 2.45. And you have a, a different type. You, this is like a regular candy thermometer. And then you yes. have this Mama Jamma, which I've seen like every every maple dude I know has one of these. Right. Um, this, uh, this is a typical uh, thermometer that a sugar maker would use. Okay. A lot of uh, uh, candy folks would use one of these. So if you want to be in the in crowd, you have to get one of these. Right. It's... Uh, it's well, I say it's non-breakable. No, it, 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 <laughs> it does have the it does have the glass uh, thermometer uh, in it. But the key thing when you're buying a thermometer, you want to find one that has a good uh, amount of distance between temperatures. Okay. If they're too close together and you're trying to be fine-tuning a yeah. particular temperature, it's very difficult. So. All right. So we're taking this to 240 or 245. 245. All Anywhere right. between 245, 250. It really isn't all that. Uh, uh, Critical. While that's cooking, we need to be getting our nuts measured out uh, because when that's done, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're we're ready gonna, to go. We're going to be ready to go. And uh, for this recipe here, I've got one cup of syrup, and there's going to be four cups of nuts. Basically, right. it's a four to one ratio. Okay. Uh, you know, if you want a real heavy coating. Um, you could go. With, Everybody wants a really heavy coat. Yeah, you could go three to one, but to be honest, I have made it with a four to one uh, just about all the time. And if and that's how these are, that's how that's everybody, what these are right everybody here. should eat them like this because yes. they are fantastic. And uh, so, I just simply measure. I, obviously, I did pre measure these at the house, but we've got four cups of nuts. Okay. And, and you got walnuts. Pecans, cashews. Yes. And you can mix it up however you want. You, you know, can peanuts. do exactly whatever you want. Yeah. I, I tend to like, these are my favorites. Yeah. But any nut that you like would work. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do, we're cooking this syrup to 245. Once it gets between 245 and 250, yeah. we're simply going to dump it into the nuts and then I'm going to stir. And it takes about three minutes of elbow grease. Uh, <laughs> That's quite a bit. And you'll notice that it's going to go from a very sticky mass of nuts. Uh -huh. You're going to start and say, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I, What's I George can see got me into your here? right forearm is we were arm wrestling earlier. And, and but that's why you want to make time. sure you use a good stout wooden spoon. Yep. And uh, as I said, about three to four minutes of stirring, that'll go from a wet, sticky mass of coated syrupy nuts okay. to that syrup will sugar off. Nice. And, and by it, sugaring off, you mean it kind of solidifies? It solidifies. Okay. It becomes dry. All right. And instead of these nuts being all one big mass, kind yeah. of clinging together, suddenly they lose their grip and they fall apart. Great. And then we'll put them onto a cookie sheet. Okay. And let them cool. All right. And, and the then we can. And, and then the rest is them. pure heaven. Right. But <laughs> you don't eat them hot, or else you will be going to the hospital. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I did mention uh, we are using the darkest uh, syrup. Right. I brought a grading kit this, here. This is cool. I mean, e explain this to me. Well, this is a uh, temporary Vermont grading kit. Okay. Uh, and the grading kit has a, uh, it, this is not syrup. People should never get the idea of drinking this. This is not So if you run out of syrup like we don't do often, this. don't don't be no. like, hey, we'll pull this from the These basement. are the minimum colors okay. that are necessary for the, uh, uh, there we go, get that aimed right. 
These are the minimum colors for each of the grades. We have Vermont Fancy Grade, okay. Grade A Medium Amber, Grade A Dark Amber, and Vermont Grade B. And if, if you don't mind, I mean, just for the, the maple novice such as myself, sure. what's the difference between each grade? As the color gets darker, the flavor gets stronger. Great. So fancy is the... Very delicate. It's very delicate. And uh, you find people in Vermont who really have... Um, they love fancy or they oh, love absolutely. grade B. I mean, I'm a, I'm a dark maple syrup person. I mean, I, I, I really love that grade B, super dark, intense. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's the mm -hmm. best for me. And the thing is, any of our confections, very fine confections like fudge or maple cream, we're going to use the fancy or a, or a nice medium amber. But uh, if you're looking for something like this where you want a strong maple flavor to yeah. come through with the flavor of the nuts, yeah. go for the gusto. Go for grade Do uh, it. Go grade for the a, darkest dark flavor. Go for grade B. Are we at temperature? We're at temperature. Okay, and so we're just simply is... going to pour that right directly into the nuts. Hot things scare me. <laughs> All right. I just dump it right in. All right. Dump it right in. Just dump it right in. And we're going to leave this here. And I'm simply going to start to stir. And that's going to get a good coating of uh, this syrup mixture. And you you all are over the you nuts. are working this. This is going to take you out of breath for a little bit. Yes, yes. After uh, you've been going just a little bit, uh, you know, it does start to uh, uh, make kind of a challenging stir. <laughs> this is a small recipe. Yeah. This is 1 cup of syrup and 4 cups of nuts. Uh, typically, I will use about twice this amount. Wow. Um, I'll have two uh, cookie trays set up. I can, I can see what it really is. I mean, it's a really it's a really simple recipe, but it's really tasty too. Oh, it is. You know, and I mean, I mean, this is a type of thing where, uh, you know, you can you can do this for gifts. I mean, to oh, make my these kids absolutely. I've got kids scattered across the uh, country. I, I and, won't ask. Uh, <laughs> we won't get too in depth there. Yeah, but they absolutely uh, love. Uh, the uh, maple sugar nuts, they're great for uh, uh, gifts. Uh, a lot of them are used around the holidays. Yeah, you know, I, I bet you just have bowls of these at your house all the time. Well, they don't last that long. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, if you'll notice, we've gone from a very uh, shiny syrup. See how it's lost its gloss? Yeah. And uh, the whole mixture is starting to become sugar yeah. instead of yeah. uh, liquid syrup. And that's what you got to do. I mean, you, you have to evaporate that moisture off that's of right. it to get it to this point. And as you're stirring it, yeah. that's causing the uh, the syrup to uh, to granulate, yeah, to it's, sugar. It's perfect. It's because we took it to 245. Okay. Between 245 and, and 250. 250. That's the magic number. And as you can see now, it is quite different from what we started just two or three minutes ago. Yeah. And, and with these nuts, uh, you know, because the syrup's so hot, do you need to roast the nuts ahead of time, or we're going to roast them uh, after? Or? You know, I never roast them at all. Okay, so always these use are, a raw nut. These are as they came from the package. Okay. Um, now, if you are using uh, pecans, sometimes people will will actually put them in the oven, yeah, uh, a, a, just a warm oven, for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and let the uh, let the oven. Take some of the moisture out of the uh, nut. Nice. And it makes a little longer lasting nut. And um, these are frankly just as they came from the container. Yeah. It, it, I just opened the container yesterday, so they're very fresh. They're very fresh. And for people who have like a smoker at their house, smoke nuts and then doing this, incredible. Whole different level of, of pleasure. So, you know, we, we got our nuts and they're cooling down a little bit. What about, you know, uh, the Maple Festival? The Maple Festival, the. Uh, I, I want to say the it. last weekend of uh, April. It's not the last weekend because that was going to run into uh, Easter this year. Yeah. So it's actually the weekend before the 19th and 20th, right, right around that uh, those numbers. And uh, the Maple Festival is the, the the celebration of the first crop in the state of Vermont it every is, year. It is an incredible. There's time. no other crop that we create. Right. That comes before maple syrup. No, no, I it's mean it's the first it, crop of Vermont. It's the start of the growing season. Yes, it's, it's once maple syrup comes, then everybody it's, gets excited. It's a you, signal of spring is yes, here. <laughs> yes, it means that you can you can start going back to your farm stand again. Um, you know, and, and also open house weekend. Open house weekend is uh, the nineteenth uh, and twentieth of okay. March. And there's a website people can go to www.vermontmaple.org. Vermont VermontMaple.org. Right? Yep. Yes, uh, that website has uh, a lot of information about maple, uh, the maple industry in Vermont. But there's a special link for yep. Vermont Maple Open House Weekend. It'll give you a listing of the sugar houses that are participating. Great. And are open to the public for that weekend. Perfect. Do we get to eat the nuts? Oh, again? absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. They're uh, they're absolutely wonderful. Delicious.
I mean, these are, it's so easy, but so perfect. But I am going to have to buy one of these yeah, if, bad if, mamma jammas. If you, if you have a, a regular candy thermometer, uh, it'll work. But uh, uh, certainly for larger batches, something like this is very, very handy. Great. Thank you for coming out. Okay. George Thank Cook you. with UVM Extension from Morrisville, Vermont.